The nominees for Best Television Series Drama are... The gift that keeps on giving. Go baby. Chicago Hope. I'm supposed to turn every gang kid that comes in here into some kind of Nelson Mandela? ER. How long till that little voice in your head starts reminding you of all the infinite 22-year-olds you could be screwing tomorrow? NYPD Blue. Picket fences. <laughs> oh, no. Get out. And the history of irrational and violent you know, the X-Files resolving this. Now you have his trust. You have to try and negotiate with him. And the winner is the X-Files. <laughs> Accepting for the X-Files is creator and executive producer, Chris Carter. Now, this is scary. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to thank the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press for considering us as one of the best dramas on television. It was an honor to receive the nomination. It is a very special honor to be chosen among the other fine shows in this category. <clears throat> Please bear with me. It takes a, a miraculous blending, blend of timing, luck, and t uh, talent, and hard work to put on a show like this. The list of talented people who have contributed to the success of the X-Files is long, but please bear with me because each of them has added to the show in great measure. I'd like to start by thanking our wonderful, talented stars, Jillian Anderson, David Duchovny. I'd like to thank the writing producers, James Wong, Glenn Morgan, Howard Gordon, his former partner, Alex Gonza, the staff writers, Sarah Charno, Darren Morgan, Frank Spotnitz, Special thanks to co-executive producer Bob Goodwin, to producer J.P. Finn, to director producers David Nutter and Rob Bowman, to Dan Sackheim, co-producer Paul Radwin, and special effects producer Matt Beck, editor Steve Mark, Heather McDougal, Jim Koblenz, Mark Snow for his wonderful score, John Barley for, for his beautiful photography, Graham Murray, excellent art direction, Rick Milliken and Randy Stone for our cast, thank you. And to everyone else in Los Angeles and Vancouver. <laughs> Uh, from 20th Television, thanks to Peter Roth, Charlie Goldstein for knowing what it takes, Ken Horton for your support and guidance. Uh, thank you, FBC. And lastly, I'd like to thank my wife, Dory, whose sacrifices and support are <clears throat> nothing short of heroic. Thank you. We'll be back with Rosie Perez, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Emma Sam, Bo Bridges, and more winners on the Golden Globe Awards. for Best Performance by an Actress in a Television Series Drama. Jillian Anderson, The, the X-Files. Oh, that's you. Sorry, honey. You go now. Okay. Okay. Christine Lottie, Chicago Hope. Now you go. Can I go? Okay, fine. Okay. Heather Locklear, Melrose Place. Jane Seymour, Dr. Quinn, medicine woman. Sherry Stringfield, ER. And the winner is... All right, let's see here. Jillian Anderson, The X-Files. <laughs> thank my daughter Piper I want to thank um, I want to thank the writers 
John Scheiben, Frank Spotnitz, Vince Gilligan, Howard Gordon, the directors Rob Bowman, Kim Manners, Bob Goodwin, executive producer. Most of all, I would like to thank the mother of all creators, Chris Carter, for having the foresight and sensibility to create to introduce into our lives a character, a woman who is strong, intelligent, equal opportunity, employed, <laughs> and um, she, she has had a profound impact on women young and not so young around the world because of those positive characteristics, and, um, and I thank you for that, um, and many other people do too, I'm sure. Um, thank you for allowing me to have the opportunity to spend this time with her and for being a component of this amazing, magical, historical odyssey that you have created. Thank you. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actor in a Television Series Drama are... George Clooney, ER. David Duchovny, The X-Files. Anthony Edwards, ER. Lance Henriksen, Millennium. Jimmy Smits, NYPD Blue. And the winner is David Duchovny, The X Files. Everything Jillian said except gender flipped. Um, I was here about seven years ago. I wasn't nominated. Uh, I wasn't even working. I was a, a guest of my manager, Melanie Green, who in turn was a guest of Michelle Pfeiffer and David Kelly. And I never dreamed that I'd be up here six or seven years later holding one of these things. And the, the oddest thing about the memory is that we had better seats on that night. <laughs> but I want to thank Chris Carter, who's a friend, a mentor, a mensch who, who has written the best show on television. Everybody in Vancouver that works so hard, works their asses off, or as they say up there, their arses. Uh, Jillian Anderson, the best co-star anybody could have. All the writers, my beautiful bookends, Melanie, Sh uh, <laughs> Melanie Green and Risa Shapiro. Perry Reeves for making the first two and a half years bearable, and um, happy birthday, Mom, tomorrow. <laughs> And now, two of television's most popular stars, Jane Curtin and Ted Danson. In the nominations for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series. Gillian Anderson for The X-Files. <laughs> Roma Downey for Touched by an Angel. Christine Lati for Chicago Hope. <laughs> Juliana Margulies for ER. <laughs> Sherry Stringfield for ER. And the Emmy goes to Gillian Anderson. Gillian Anderson was up last year in this category. This is her first Emmy win for her portrayal of Agent Dana Scully on The X-Files.
I feel so honored that you are presenting me with this award because I have been such a huge fan of yours for so many years. And um, I'm more nervous about this right now than I am about getting up here. Um, um, I need to thank my, um, my family, my mom and my dad. And um, I have a, a younger brother and sister, Aaron and Zoe, who are so wonderfully normal about this whole celebrity thing. They don't brag, they just, they, they, I'm still their big sis. And, you know, <laughs> I want to shake them and say, don't you know who I am? <laughs> that, that was a joke. Um, um, but all of my family, I'm just going to give you a list of names. Bob, Marilyn, Mary Jo, um, Michael, John, Grandma, Grandpa, Lee, Judy, um, Marlies, Stu, Patty, um, Gisela, Dixie, um, um, Rosen Jurgen, and everybody else. Um, thank you for allowing me my mistakes, for allowing me um, to falter in my growth, for allowing me to slip into the void of production for long periods of time, knowing that eventually I will surface and be present again. Thank you immeasurably for that, for that understanding, the support, and the unconditional love. Um, I love you all, and I thank you for this. Ladies and gentlemen.